Hi, my name is Marla Grant, and I am the founder of Inspired Grief Recovery, and I'm also an affiliate leader with Helping Parents Heal in Tampa. And I just want to tell you um, sort of my approach about healing. As you can see, these are three of my children who passed. I don't like to be called a grieving parent or a bereaved parent because I really do know the truth about where they are. Uh, have known for a long time, but um, there's a really important message I want to give you. Helping Parents Heal uh, gives us a lot of hope because of, you know, it, it helps us understand the connection with our children and we get to speak to um, a lot of people who reinforce that idea. So we get a really uh, strong spiritual connection with them. But it's also important to remember that, you know, at the end of the day, after you've come to an event like this or a wonderful event, um, or, you know, you have a reading, the, you know, the next day you're sort of dumped back where? Right here into the world of form. So um, I teach the grief recovery method and it's really, it's really founded on some principles about grief that very few people understand. And when I started teaching it, I kind of sat down and did a meditation and I asked my guides, said, I, I really want to be clear about my message, what should I do? And they said, be very clear about the things that helped you heal. And so I, I was writing at the time, and uh, the three things that came out, personal responsibility, acceptance, and willingness, and I noticed that they spell PAW. So it's a, it's a visual that you can keep in mind to remember. The personal responsibility means that you take responsibility for healing whatever your, whatever your grief is for, for your you know, your involvement in the relationship, and this of course doesn't have, doesn't mean you're responsible for your child's death or anyone else's by any means, um, but you become re personal responsibility for healing. The second one is acceptance, and that is, I think for me, has been the most powerful one, and that is so that you, um, you accept the fact that nothing in the past can change, and that really nothing in the future that you anticipated would happen really can happen. Um, it's, it's literally sort of something that you made up. So all we have is now and what is here in the present and that is absolutely the only place you can find peace. And the, the last concept is willingness. And willingness just means that you, you are turning over um, and giving the willingness to actually heal from your grief. Like, instead of hanging on to it, you're determining that, yes, I, I can accept that this has happened. I'm willing to look for a different way. And, you know, I can, I can make that happen, and I'm willing to do that. And the grief recovery method, um, the paw picture is certainly not the grief recovery method. That's just sort of a little device I use to help people remember. But those three concepts are, are very key to that. And we learn about, you know, I teach people about the myths about grief, the way that we put grief aside and through what we call short-term energy relieving behaviors, things that avoid um, are really dealing with the grief and pretending it's not there. Things like um, isolating or diving into work, overworking, alcohol, drugs, it can be a number of things. Um, so we move through that and then it's a very uh, comprehensive, comprehensive seven step program. It's highly effective. It's been around for 40 plus years and it's taught all around the world. And most importantly, it's evidence based, which means that there has been university level studies, peer reviewed studies done on, done on it um, of its effectiveness. So um, I've had never had a client walk away and say this didn't help me. So um, I would love to hear from you. I'm with the Tampa affiliate of Helping Parents Heal, uh, and I'm with Inspired Grief Recovery as well. That's my work. Thank you.